Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Sex offenders are going to prison because law enforcement agencies are testing old evidence. Yes, for years, detectives didn't bother testing some rape kits, but that's not allowed anymore, and it's producing results. News 4 Tucson's Sam Salzwedel has that investigation. The philosophy was if you know who the DNA belongs to and the case is not going to court anyway, why bother on the expensive testing? Now local departments are getting millions of dollars in grants for rape kit testing and they're getting results in ways they weren't expecting. A jury just found Nathan Loby guilty. His indictment included victims from cases going back as far as 2003 and charges that include stalking, kidnapping and sexual assault. Tucson Police Detective Dallas Wilson investigated the cases after old rape kits were tested. His name was brought front and center on being a serial rapist and one of the cases we want to investigate immediately. Loby was already investigated years ago on several cases, but he told investigators the relationships were consensual. He was never charged with a crime. Tucson police used to have about 2,000 untested kits, including some of Loby's. A grant paid to get them all done at a price of $645 each. Loby's DNA was found and connected to numerous police reports. It is linking suspects not only from our jurisdiction, but to other jurisdictions and in some cases other states. Over at the Pima County Sheriff's Department, they still have 468 untested kits. But Detective Robin Crehan says that does not mean the cases are unsolved. There were reasons to skip the expensive tests. There was no crime determined or there was no benefit to be obtained from testing that kid at the time. The investigation was resolved without the testing. But the department just applied for a grant from the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative, which could lead to new indictments. We can't know until we test them, obviously, uh, but according to current results that, that law enforcement around the country is getting, there's a reason for these grants that are being put in place. There is a reason for this uh, additional testing. Tucson police say all their additional new testing led to four indictments. According to Governor Doug Ducey's office, testing old kits since 2015 has led to at least 16 indictments statewide. Detective Crehan says she expects the results of the department's multi-million dollar grant application in September. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email investigators at kvua.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Sam Salzwedel, News 4 Tucson.